so guys let's look at some of the features of our telegram to mt5 signal copier i already have everything set up here if you look at the settings i have my mt5 connection telegram api key and my license key all set up uh, every other thing is set to default and we're just going to look at some of the functionalities that the application have i didn't really go into detail uh, on it in the previous video in the previous video we looked at the core installation how to install this application and set up everything so if you want to watch that video i'm going to be adding uh, the link in the description below for you guys you can click on it or you can also go to the previous video before this one and watch the installation process so we currently have just one trade now i want you guys to ignore this trade it's a trade taken by uh, one of my strategies on another um, uh, section that i'm currently testing to see how profitable the strategy is or if the strategy actually matches the back test so please ignore this trade it's a trade on um i think ethereum ust yeah so it's a trade so let's try to play some trades on our signal channel here so this is our signal channel i will have our bots connected to this channel you can see i have the ck test bots connected to this channel so let's try to place a trade here we're going to be placing a trade on gbp ust here so I'm just going to click on start here and the status has changed to on. So I'm just going to minimize this and I'm going to, we're going to buy, send a buy signal for GBP USD. So buy GBP USD and our stop loss would be, let's assume our stop loss uh, was to be 1.24940. And our tick profit is 1.26540. Now, one of the amazing things about our uh, Telegram to MT5 signal copy is that you can also add, you know, the risks that you want uh, for the trade. So in this case here, we can add a risk of 2% here. Okay. And the moment I send this signal here, you can see automatically we just placed a trade instantly okay we just placed a trade on our mt5 account here okay so you can see we placed a trade here and the volume is 1.06 so you can see that here we have uh, on our table here we have the time we have the source the channel and the name of the channel where this signal was gotten from is the mt5 copy trader you can see the channel here and the id of the trade is 181 and the signal is a buy market signal and the symbol was gbp usd okay so you can also see the statistics here and see the trading history you can also see a chart of the trade actions by channel and the symbol by channel here okay so let's go back to our home Don't touch first. and let's try to modify the signal so I'm just going to modify uh, the take profit to let's say um, 1.26220 and you can see the take profit was instantly modified okay so now I can also double tap on this and close the trade so you can see the trade has been closed here okay so now let's look at some additional features that we can have uh with this strategy so i'm going to go back to home and go back to settings and the first thing we have here is the notification now i talked about the notification in the previous video so the screen is basically uh sending you messages on telegram so if you add your chat id here it's going to send notifications to that chat all right the next one is the stop loss and take profit customization so in this case here let's assume we want to set a custom value for our stop loss in points so we want to set our stop loss at let's say 200 points below the entry or above the entry uh, if it's a sell trade and we want to set our take profit at um let's say 500 points okay and uh since it started you don't need to update anything okay so i'm just going to head over back and let's open the different charts let's open um let's say euro usd okay and let's send a signal now so let's send the sell signal 
sell euro UST. Our stop loss would be um, 1.04980, and our tick profit would be 1.03510. And our risk would be 3%. Now, since we used a custom value here, what's going to happen is that the, the software is going to ignore the stop loss and the stake profit values and it's going to use the custom values that you set here. So let's check this out. Let me send the signal. And you can see it has now placed a signal here. But if you notice, the stop loss was set to 1.04980, which was supposed to be here. But since we set it to a custom value here of 200 points, you can see if I go out of here and I measure the stop loss, you can see it's 200 points. Let me just make this clear so that you can see it. So 200 points. Let me do this properly. So 200 points. Okay. So the take profit also um, was set to... 500 points so if i highlight on this now and go down here you can also see 500 points okay so i'm just going to highlight on this and close all right so now um let's look at the next feature which is the rix management customization so for the rix management customization you can set uh, it's to default so to use this risk here or you can also set it to use a percentage risk here. So let's set ours to uh, 3% here. If we set this to 3%, automatically it's going to use 3%, okay, as the default tricks. So let me just try to place this trade again here and set the risk to, you know, 5% this time. And if I send this order here, you can see that the trade has been placed, but the risk is 3% here. Okay, not 5%. If you look at the history here, this was 1.82. Okay, so 1.81. So it's very similar, which means it's still using the 3% risk. Okay, just for uh, as it was here. Okay, so I can close this trade here. And the trade has been closed. All right. Now, the next section here is the suffix customization. Unfortunately, this broker doesn't have any suffixes here. But let's say we have a symbol UUSDS on our broker. I wanted to take a trade on that symbol. We can just add S here, okay, or X or, you know, C, whatever the suffix is. And it's going to place a trade, all right? The next here is equity lock customization. So let's say um, we have a profit target or maximum risk that we want you know, whenever our equity gets to one of disabled trading, it's very useful and it's very essential to ensure that your equity is actually protected. You can actually use enable this here and set the value. So let's say 10% and maybe, you know, 10% here as well. Okay. So if your equity goes down 10%, trading is going to be disabled and um, the expert advisor would stop taking trades. It's going to ignore all incoming signals. Okay. Just going to disable this here and remove these values here okay so the next thing uh we need to look at here is that trading hours customization so the current hour now is 12 28 so let's say i want to ignore trading in around you know 12 and 1 pm i can just highlight on this now now see what's going to happen if i send the trade here and i send this trade you can see the trade wasn't placed it was ignored because the trade was inside uh the trading hours where we don't want you know to have trading on okay so that's all for the settings and i hope you love uh what you're seeing so we can go to the home you can see some of the trades a log of all the trades and the trade actions and also the symbol you can also go to the home and see, you know, the trade uh, log as well. Okay. You can also see the amount of channels that, you know, you've received signals from. You can actually have this connected to multiple signal channels. 
and another thing i want you guys to note is that if you're having this app on make sure you have our good trading button enabled here on your mt5 you can see here it's enabled it's disabled it's enabled so make sure to have this enabled or else the software won't be able to place trades on your mt5 now the software actually also supports limit orders as well stop orders and all kinds of pending orders not just um buy and sell orders so let's just try to you know do an example here i'm going to go to settings and i'm going to disable this here okay so we can actually place trades and i'm going to go to home i'm going to set a buy limits uh euro ust and price um 1.04 3930 hello 1.04 1.04035 and our stop loss would be or let's set our take profit first so you can actually interchange it it doesn't necessarily matter 1.05400 and our stop loss to be 1.03615 remember we set the stop loss customization to use um custom value so it's going to ignore the stop loss and the take profit here so just going to set the risks here to two percent and i'm going to place this here so you can see we just placed a buy limit order right now on euro usd using a lot size of 1.8 which actually you know says three percent so let's look at our settings and yeah we set it to percentage and we set it to three percent here now for the percentage you can also add a constant lot size too so if you want a constant lot size of 1.0 per trade you can also add that here so let's say you want a constant lot size of 1.0 per trade you can just add that here okay so that's all for this video I'm just going to head over back to my home and highlight on this and close and we also have that close so if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us i'm more than happy to respond to you i hope you guys love this software and i hope you guys enjoy it uh it's the cheapest on the market right now and it's uh, it's one of the best actually because of the risk customization and some other amazing features so let me know if you would like you know any upgrades uh or any suggestions that we can add in future upgrades so i'll see you guys in the next video bye for now